of what we call mixture problems. Okay, and uh, in a mixture problem, you have a variety of different weights of things. Uh, things that either cost more or uh, weigh more um, or have a different value. The setups are very similar on all of these types of problems. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you two ways you can do the setup. The first way is you can say let quarters be Q then dimes are and it says here there are six more dimes than quarters so six more than the quarters okay now each quarter is worth 25 cents so you could say these are worth 25 times Q cents. Dimes are 10 cents each, so you could say these are worth 10 times the 6 plus Q cents. So that's one way to do the setup. Now another way to do the setup, I'm going to introduce you to uh, a table setup here that is um, fairly common with this type of problem. So you can say, what sort of coin do you have? A dime and a quarter. What's the number of them and what's their value? And then the last column, is how many cents worth are there. Now the magic of this type of thing is this column times that column equals that column. So let's look at it. The number of dimes is six more than the quarters. So I'm going to start quarters at Q and dimes is six plus Q. A dime is worth 10 and a quarter is worth 25. Okay. Now if you multiply these two columns, that times that equals that. And because there's two terms here, I've got to use brackets. Q times 25 is 25Q. Okay, now we have a total here. We don't know the total number of coins, but we do know the total number of cents. Remember there's $29.65. Let's move the decimal two to the right. This gives us 2,965 coins there, uh, cents there. Now, we're ready to translate. These two columns add up to 29.65. Or, these two guys over here add up to 29.65. So now I just merely write out my translation. 10 times 6 plus Q. It's the number of cents in dimes. Plus 25Q. That's the number of cents in quarters adds up to 29.65. Okay, now in solving this, remember the first thing we do is do the rainbow rule. 10 must go times both of those guys. So that gives us 60 plus 10Q. And I won't say you're welcome. Now we bring the 60 across, and that gives us 
10 cubed plus 25 cubed equals 29.65 minus 60. Or 35 cubed equals 2905. And if I divide both sides by 35, I get 2905 divided by 35 is 83. So divide by 35, divide by 35, and out pops Q equals 83. Now what you can do is go right back up here and read off how much the dimes. 6 plus Q is 6 plus 83 is 89. So there are 83 quarters and 89 dimes. Okay, and now all we have to do is just do a little check here. Okay, 83 quarters and 89 dimes. 83 quarters times 25 is 2075. 89 times 10 is 890. Add those up. And we get $29.65, which is what we're supposed to get. So our answer is correct. Nice, big, happy face. So any mixture problem can be done with the same sort of a table. Okay, and I'm just going to zero in a bit on this table, uh, just so you can see it in a bit more detail. Okay. So look at that table, and it's one column times the other column equals the third column. 